half of those second half turnovers early would allow you to stabilize and would come out on top? Um, I mean, I feel like we get asked this question a lot. Um, this is sad the final time we get to answer it at home. So, um, But to, to kind of just repeat what, what we said all year, it's we're a gritty bunch. Um, you know, nothing's ever too you know insurmountable. Nothing's ever too comfortable for us. We could be up 20 or down 20, and we never know if we're going to win the game. So, um, but that's what you love about this team. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep playing, um, playing our butts off. And I thought Chandre was unbelievable. He, he's he's our leader, and you just can't express what he's done for us this season and his career here. And for him to make those plays down the stretch, just kind of put it all together. What who he is as a person and as a player. So. I thought he, he took, you know, big time shots and made them. I thought Buck and Nick, Nick had a, I threw it to the other defender and Nick just made a, you know, gritty play and grabbed it and laid it in as only Nick can do. I thought Buck played great. Um, I just thought it was a whole team effort and I couldn't be more proud of my team. Sean, were you guys aware that the Texas trip was in the offense? Yes. Yeah, uh, we we were, uh, watching the, we watch games. Uh, we love basketball, so we watch the games and we, we stay up to date on what's going on. So we were watching the game before, and uh, we found out that they they had won. And uh, if we win, we'd be going down to Texas, uh, Dallas, where my boy TJ's from. So uh, we definitely wanted to get there and uh, just keep winning. It's uh, it is the last time you're gonna play here. Was that an extra motivation <laughs> to make sure that it ended with a victory? Um, yeah, uh, you know. It's hard to, you know, you're, you're trying to lock in during the game, but at one point, you know, you know, minute 30 left, I think we were up one, uh, Dre just made a layup, and I, I was just like, wow, it's the last minute 30 I'm going to have in here. And, and I told our guys, just, you know, play as hard as you can for a minute 30. Everything you have, exhaust yourself on the court, and, and we did it. So it's, um, it's an emotional time for me and Dre, um, you know, heading into the locker room for that one final time after the game. But, you know, our emotions, um, we're happy right now, and uh, we really can't think about it too much because in, you know, 36 hours or something like that, we, uh, we play TCU, and that's a very good team who, who beat Kansas in their conference tournament. So we know we got to be prepared. Are you excited to be going back to the Metroplex? Metroplex? <sighs> I'm ecstatic. Um, you know, we, uh, when I got before the game, when I got the news that TCU had won, uh, one of my best friends plays for them, Chris Washburn. So we had been texting this whole week and just talking, come on, just get a win for us, just get a win. And he was just telling me, just get one win. We can come home and play each other. Um, that's like my brother. So that, that's a little added incentive. But uh, to go home and my whole family's going to be there. My mom and dad made the trip up here. They're, they're great. And, um, but to be able to go home and play in front of my little brothers and my family and my high school coach, it's, it's really exciting. So I, I can't wait to get out there. How do you know Washburn from where? Oh, we've grown up together, playing AAU ball together. Um, he probably stayed at my house more in the summer, you know, than he stayed at his own house, and, and vice versa. So we were, uh, you know, inseparable when we were little, and that's just um, that's just how it was AAU ball. We were just on the same team. Andre, um, guy shoots a three, and you get called for a foul. Did you get him? And how did you feel at that moment? Um. Yeah, um, I don't want to comment on it. I, th I thought uh, it was a good shot, great shot by him. Uh, tough shot at a <coughs> point in the game. Um, I got to play a little smarter than that, um, especially at that time, uh, time and score of uh, the game. So uh, that's just a learning experience for me. I, was, I wasn't too happy at myself, mostly. Did you, when you talk to Chris leading up to the game this week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, uh, I don't, you know, that's one of my best friends, so I don't want to say we're enemies, but I mean, he might come say hi at the hotel tomorrow night. I don't. I mean, that's just that's how close we are. So it's exciting. And but when we get on the court and in between the lines, we've done this before. We he actually <coughs> played um, the last game of my career. We me and my team versus his team, both of our senior years, played in the American Airlines Center for in the state playoffs, and they beat us. So it's a little bit of revenge for me. Um, but we know when we step inside those lines, it's going to be you know there's no friendship. It's going to be all all going to war. You did make a number of big shots down the down the stretch. Are you? Uh, have ice water in your veins at this point? Are you thinking about the pressure? Yes, he does. <laughs> um, no, um, I just have a, a lot of confidence in myself. Um, I, I've made big shots uh, in, in, in crucial moments, and I've missed big shots, so I know what comes with the, uh, the moment. So um, I'm just not afraid to take it. Uh, my guys have a lot of confidence in me um, to take those shots, and uh, I just want to be able to uh, win, especially this last game. <laughs> Uh, especially for me and TJ Marshall, Quasey, uh and Chase, all the things that we've been through here, ups and downs, uh, the 16-16 season. Just want to keep it going and try to get the Madison Square Garden. Even if you guys keep winning, there's only a couple of weeks left. Seeing the way that Buck and Sherrod play, are you confident you're going to leave this program in pretty good hands? <laughs> yes. yes. Future's bright here. Y'all yeah. um, don't know about it yet. There's a red shirt sitting out. Sully Stansberry. I would keep an eye on him. Yeah. So. You know, the, the foundation's great here. Uh, you know, next year, 
you know, if they get, unless they get you know a transfer or something like that. But they're not going to have any seniors right now in the program, uh, except for Joe Kirby. But they're, I mean, so the the, the future and, and the core is, is going to be here for another two years, and this could be a really dangerous team in the future.